Looking to install Comfy UI locally on your Windows machine? You're in the right place. Yeah, in this step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you exactly how to get Comfy UI up and running and walk you through generating your very first AI image using the powerful Flux Dev model. This guide is for you. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Head over to the official Comfy UI GitHub releases page. The link is in the description. On the right side of the page, click on the latest release. Then scroll down to the asset section. Look for the file named Comfy UI Windows Portable NVIDIA. This is the portable version for Windows with NVIDIA GPU support. Download the file, then extract it using a tool like 7-Zip to a location you'll remember. In this example, we'll extract it to the folder. See slash Comfy to confirm the download was successful. Open the Comfy UI underscore Windows underscore portable folder. Inside, you should see a file called run underscore nvidia underscore gpu dot bat this is what you'll use to launch comfy ui later but before we double click it let's first install the comfy ui node manager which will allow us to easily manage custom nodes and extensions first go to the official comfy ui manager github page the link is in the description below click the code button and copy the repository url next navigate to the following folder on your pc within the comfy ui folder Comfy UI custom underscore nodes. Once you're inside the custom underscore nodes folder, open a terminal window in that location. To do this, click the address bar at the top of File Explorer, type CMD, and press Enter. A terminal window will open directly in the folder. Now type the following command and hit Enter. Git clone and paste in the Comfy UI Manager URL we copied earlier and hit Enter. This will clone the Node Manager directly into your Comfy UI setup. Once the process is complete, you can close the terminal. That's it. The Node Manager is now installed and ready to use, giving you access to powerful custom nodes and tools right inside Comfy. UI. Now that the Comfy UI Manager is installed, navigate back to the Comfy UI underscore Windows underscore Portable folder. From here, double click on run underscore NVIDIA underscore GPU dot bat to launch Comfy UI. A terminal window will open and automatically begin downloading any required dependencies. Once that process is complete, Comfy UI will launch automatically and you're ready to go. With Comfy UI up and running, let's dive in and create our very first image. Sound good? We'll be using the Flux Dev model for this example. Start by going to the top left corner of the Comfy UI interface. Click on Workflow, then select Browse Templates. In the sidebar that appears, click on Flux, and then choose Flux Dev to load the workflow into your workspace. Hold up, don't click Run just yet. You'll get an error because the Flux Dev model file hasn't been downloaded yet. Let's take care of that next. Now let's head over to the Hugging Face page to download the Flux Dev model. The link is in the description. Before you start, make sure you have enough disk space available as the model file is fairly large. Right click on the download icon, choose Save Link as and save the safe tensors file to the following directory comfy ui models checkpoints i've already downloaded the file so i won't be downloading it again but depending on your internet speed it might take a little while to finish setting everything up we need to refresh the node definitions in comfy ui just click on edit in the top menu then select refresh node definitions or simply press r on your keyboard as a shortcut now that everything's in place we're ready to generate our first image using the flux dev model let's walk through it step by step ready to see it in action all right you're all set let's walk through generating your first ai image using comfy ui and the flux dev model step one select the checkpoint in the comfy ui interface look for the load checkpoint node click on it and from the list select flux one dev safe tensors model this tells comfy ui which model to use for generating the image step two craft your prompt now let's create a prompt that guides the model to generate exactly what we want here's an example prompt you can use Beautiful ninja warrior woman, wearing a sleek black silk dress with red accents, dual red katanas on her back, long dark hair flowing, striking a confident pose, looking directly at the viewer, standing in a misty neon lit alleyway, sensual and mysterious, Chinese inspired outfit, cinematic lighting, ultra detailed. This will help the model focus on details like her outfit, pose, expression, and the overall mood of the scene. Step 3. Set your output dimensions. Now adjust the image size. 
A good starting point is width, 768, height, 1152. This gives you a tall portrait style composition, perfect for character shots. Step four, run the workflow ready? Now click the run button at the bottom of the interface. Comfy UI will begin processing your prompt. And in just a few moments, you'll see your custom ninja warrior woman come to life. Boom, that's your first image generated locally with full control. Let's break down a few important settings inside the K-Sampler node in Comfy UI. First, the seed. By default, the seed is set to random which means every time you generate an image, you'll get a different result. But what if you want to recreate an exact image you made before? To do that, set control after generate to fixed. This locks the seed, ensuring you get almost the exact same image every time you run the workflow. Next, the step setting. This controls how many times the model refines the image during generation. The default is 20 steps, which gives good quality and decent speed, but increasing the steps, for example to 30 or more, will often result in more detailed and refined images. Just keep in mind, more steps equal sign longer render time. Let's do a quick comparison. Here's our Ninja Warrior Woman generated with the same seed, but using different step values. One at 20 steps and one at 30 steps. At 30 steps, you'll see the dress looks more detailed, the sword edges are sharper, and yep, even her boobs got a little bigger. Bigger. Unbelievable, but hey, AI's got priorities. The changes are subtle, but definitely noticeable. To view your generated images, you can simply click on Q in the left sidebar or just press Q on your keyboard. This will open up a panel showing all the images you've created so far. As you can see, our first image, generated with 20 steps, took about 74.91 seconds and the one with 30 steps took just a bit longer. For reference, I'm running this on an RTX 3060 with 12 GB of VRAM, so that should give you a rough idea of what to expect in terms of render times on similar hardware. Inside the cube panel, you can right click on any image to access a few helpful options. Click on go to node to instantly jump to the node that generated that specific image. Or choose load workflow. This will open a new tab and automatically load the entire workflow used to generate that image, complete with all the settings. This is super handy if you want to recreate an image or tweak a few parameters. Now back to the K-Sampler node. For the sampler name, I'm sticking with the default Euler, since it gives a great balance between quality and speed. As for the scheduler, here's a quick breakdown. SGM uniform, super sharp and clean, but kind of flat when it comes to mood or drama. Simple, decent all around, but nothing really stands out. Normal, great lighting and atmosphere, especially good for portraits and cinematic scenes. Dedim, really moody and cinematic, but sometimes a bit soft on details. Beta, the best of the bunch. Dynamic lighting, sharp details, and rich atmosphere. It's my go-to. Stick with Beta if you want that high-end cinematic look. And that wraps up this basic tutorial on how to set up Comfy UI locally and generate your first AI image using the Flux Dev model. If you're looking for faster generation speeds, be sure to check out our article and video on running Comfy UI with RunPod. You'll find the links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.